Welcome back to Sunless Sea. It's just about time to leave Venderbite. I've done pretty much everything that I want to do. But before I started recording, I actually was taking a look around the shops. And there's not too many shops here, and nothing particularly interesting going on for the most part. But one thing I did notice is that at the Hollow Temple, the image of a long-snouted reptile god still stands in the temple. But now storytellers gather here. And these storytellers, it looks like they'll pay good coin for recent news. So I can actually sell my news directly for money. Or even a memory of a distant shore, or vision of the surface. Which is pretty cool. And I've actually got some recent news, but I don't think I want to sell it. I'm not entirely sure what else it could be used for, but... It could make interesting story events happen. Just like they happened with the Sisters of the Keep where my recent news was able to bring them back out and have them come talk to me. So, I think I'm going to hold on to my recent news for now, but it is worth noting that I could just directly sell it. Okay, so let's just explore, I suppose. Now, I don't want to get too far from London, so I'm thinking let's head back to London, see if anything's gone on there, and then maybe head south. Yeah, that sounds good. Hmm. You know, maybe I'll head a bit east. Head, a, head to maybe right about here and then... And then make my way south. Yeah, that sounds good. Unless I find that giant crab over here again. In which case, I might not want to take this way. Oh, there it is. Whoa, hold on. Oh, I think it's one of the lighthouse boats. Or maybe it's actually a lighthouse itself. I was worried it might be a pirate ship or something. Where did that light come from? Whoa! What just happened? Oh, it's the bat swarm. <laughs> don't worry about the bat swarm, just go the other way. Also, now the crab's over there. No, I don't want to fight. I think the bat swarm might be chasing me. I'm going full speed. Um, okay, it went away. Alright, all clear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? What happened? Discovered Patrick's lot. Discovered Massey's shaft. <laughs> Massey's shaft. Well, that sounds like a euphemism. Alright, so yeah, that is a lighthouse. Crab's coming back over, so I'm going to move. I believe that's a pirate ship. Can I dock here at Massey's shaft? Don't see any... No, there's no dock. Okay, I think we're going to get into some combat here. Yep, here we go. Okay, this is not great. Hold on, I'm going to pause it. What does this say? Your hole is damaged, you can repair it in London's dry docks or at Z. Oh yes, I know. I know my hole is damaged. I should be okay, but I'm definitely going to have to pay for repairs. This pirate ship is a lot tougher than the other ones, which died in like two hits. Also, I noticed that I can fire the gun before this green thing actually fully gets to the end. Does that mean, like, if you shoot it before it fully gets to the end, does that mean you have a lower chance of hitting? So it's kind of like a quick shot? Like hip firing a weapon or something, basically? Your hole just took damage from a collision. Oh, I just bumped against this side. I'm fine. And one more shot, and... Okay. Alright, so we're at, what, like 70% health? Not too bad. Cache of curiosities. 
And now have a cask of mushroom wine. I have no idea if that's worth that much. The finest output of the Greyfield's shroom yards. Mmm. Whoa. Combat? With what? No, I don't want to fight another one. Get me out of here. Alright, we're going straight back. Let's go back to London right now. Although I'm going to have to go through the darkness to get there, but... Oh, and there's a swarm of bats. Alright, let's go between the boat and the bats. Think the bats are coming towards me now? Yep, they're, they're coming towards me. I think they give up after a while, so I think if I keep moving, I'll be okay. Oh, okay. They speed up. Suffered five damage. Ow. And they're gone now? Okay, they gave up. Whew. What if I just stop here? Will they go away? Are they still going to be there when I come back out? I don't know. Hey, what's going on? Could um everybody in the house grab their shotguns and help me kill these bats? I would appreciate it. Don't think there's anything to do here. Oh no, the sisters came back out so I can talk with them again. Okay, I can reconnoiter the island again? I think I already did that. I guess I just got another port report. So I guess you can redo port reports like every day or something? Alright, who did I speak with before? I think I spoke with Cynthia twice, right? Let's uh... Let's talk to Lucy. Lucy, the middle sister, is sunny, restless, prone to giggles. A daft tale. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially. A complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic, and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, and dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. Got a little bit more supplies. Apparently I've gathered the Gods of the Z Stone's attention. Somehow. You're acquainted with the sisters, but something has changed. Hmm? Oh, and I lost ten terror. Nice. But I'm curious about this one. You're acquainted with the sisters, but, sisters, but something has changed. What changed? Hmm. Okay, well, I have some more recent news, so let's bring them back out. Already read this from before. Alright, now I can lunch with them again. So I talked with Cynthia twice, talked to Phoebe once. Let's talk to Lucy. Oh, wait, no, I already talked to you, right? Yeah, so sorry. Talked to Cynthia twice, Lucy once, now let's talk to Phoebe. Phoebe is soft-voiced, watchful, unpredictable. Phoebe has a story to tell. Of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages, of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if to a song only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room, to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The Untersee shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There's a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there, you finish the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and bath oliver biscuits. Lost some more terror, down to one. Nice. 
Um, an occurrence. Your Gods of the Z Storm's Attention Quality is now exclamation mark. I've always wanted my Storm's Attention Quality to be exclamation mark. Gain some more supplies. Yeah, and once again, you're acquainted with the sisters, but something has changed. Also, I have a memory of distant shores, which I think I can turn that into vendor bite. Uh, probably sell it to the storytellers. I'm not exactly going to be heading back there just yet, though. Alright, I think that's it. And... Okay, so I think they're just going away. Yes, thank God. Alright. Let's go see how much my repair bell is going to be. I have no idea how much it costs to repair your hole. It's probably going to be pretty expensive. And I don't have much money. Actually, how much money do I have? How do you tell? Oh, there we go. 120. do this shipyard no no I actually have no idea how to repair it is it at a shop naval surplus no I mean this is my current ship um I have no idea. Let's just see what's going on here. Let's read the morning papers. Let's see. The enigmatic marketplace has increased its tax on love stories. I think I already read this, right? Forbidden singing in the street outside her palace? Yes. We've got some recent news now. And this is the same guy from before, right? The one that wants, yeah, Atlantis artifacts or seven bales of parabola linen. Or parabola linen. Let's see how much this cask of mushroom wine goes for. So who wa who wants it? Who would buy that? Mm, Wolfstack Exchange. Yes. So they'll buy it for twenty one. Hmm. And ooh, they'll even buy the bolts of spider silk. For a hundred each? Wow, that's worth a lot. Or, no, sorry. They'll buy it for fifty. That's still worth quite a bit. At least with the amount of money that I have. A hundred and twenty. Should I sell it? I mean, I might be able to use it for something, and I'm not exactly pressed for space in my cargo. So I guess there's really no reason to sell it just yet. Oh, yeah, one thing I can do is turn in my port report... For Hunter's Keep. Oh, and for Vendor Bite, right. Some more fuel. Admiralty's favor remains unchanged. Okay, so it looks like if you turn in a port report for a place you've already been to, they will give you a little bit of money and a little bit of fuel, but it doesn't make your favor go up. But if I give them one for Vendor Bite, which I've never visited before, I think that should make my favor go up, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. Put your ship in dry dock. For repairs or sometimes other purposes. Okay. So, let's do that. Hmm, this one will exchange one point of Admiralty's favor for two to three fuel. Interesting. And there's only a 32% chance of success. That sounds like something I want to do if I'm desperate. Now, how do I repair this damn thing? This will completely repair your hole. This one will also completely repair your hole.
Reliable work for a slightly higher price. 100 Echo. That is expensive. What about this one? Oh, I need three favor for that. So trade in favor for repair. Hmm. Maybe I should wait until I'm more damaged. But then again, maybe it cost, costs more if my hull is lower. I don't know. Eh. I'm not going to risk it. This game has permadeath. I really don't want to risk it. Alright, we're good. So, now, now let's head south. Z-Bat, away! Mudden Island is a long way to the southeast. Hi, Crab. I think I'm just gonna go around this here. Let's go visit the crew aboard this moving lighthouse. This beacon of safety. Speak to the crew. In the bleaching glare of the lens, among the smells of oil and metal, you sip tea and chat. The Z's terror recedes. Lost terror, lost recent news, gained a Z story. Strange truths are told of the waves and what lies beneath. The lies are even stranger. Ooh, look at that fog. Alright, let's get a reading here and see where the nearest place is. Southwest, huh? I guess it's right there. Ooh, it's another one of those big pirate ships, or whatever they are. Okay, crab there, pirate ship there. No, I don't want to fight. Is it coming for me? Oh shit, I think it is. I seem to be considerably faster than it, though. Alright, I'm just gonna stick close to the shore. coming for me? It doesn't seem to be... Oh, yeah, it's coming. Okay. Ow. Two damage. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Let's kill it. I missed. Great. Oh, oh, there's something down there. It, what the hell? It just teleported. Okay, you're not an enemy, obviously. Or, wait, are you? No. What? <laughs> Again? Hi. What is wrong with that boat? Uh, okay, bye. Freaking hacks. 
With a forlorn and wailing cry, the Megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded, as bluish blood gouts from its wounds. Its golden glow begins to dim. Butcher it for supplies or dissect it for knowledge? A 75% chance of success. See, I wonder what happens if I fail that. I mean, is it like a critical failure where I try to dissect it but end up cutting off my own hand or something? Or does it just mean you get nothing? Hmm. Well, supplies sound nice. Knowledge is a bit more... wishy-washy. I feel like at the moment I just kind of need money. Because I'm pretty freaking poor, so let's just butcher it for supplies. Pale and salty meat. The crew will feast. That glowing... F that glowing fresh is unstable. Wait, fresh? Huh? It crisps and withers as the glow fades, so eat while it's fresh. Wait, the... The glowing fresh... Sh shouldn't that be flesh? I don't understand. But I did lose hunger. Oh, so it takes down your current hunger. Right, so it doesn't actually give you any supplies in terms of stuff you can sell, but it does mean that you don't use up as many supplies, which in the end will save you money. Nice. Well, those things are pretty freaking easy to kill. Whoa. There's another one. Alright. Reverse. Ah, I want to see if I can get a quick hit in and uh, kill it before it did a little bit more damage. Okay, well, I'm not very hungry at the moment, so let's try dissecting it. It's not dead. You haul it aboard and set to work with your knives and acids, and it flops unexpectedly into life. Zaylers rush to your aid with guns and boarding pikes. By the time they've finished, you're unharmed, but there's not much left of the beast. You tip it reluctantly into the Z. Pages 25 failed in a challenge. Try again and you may have better luck. Wait, pages 25 failed in a challenge. Does that mean you lose 25? I don't know. Quaker's ha uh, Haven. Once the simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs, before London fell and the waters rushed in. Smoke spirals from cottage chimneys. A lonely hill rises behind town. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff we can do. Look at all this. Drinks of the Cock and Magpie. <laughs> I love names of taverns or bars or whatever you want to call them. Or pubs. There's only one public house on the island. The Cock and Magpie is famed for its local cider. And, of course, the Z food. Cost money? No thanks. Pick up a wretched mog. A yellow-eyed, mangy, piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacle chain. You've never seen a cat's mouth open that wide. Presumably it's hungry. It's a mascot. One variety of officer. Hmm. A wretched mug. Costs supplies and you get a mascot. Well, I've already got a comatose ferret, so... Nah, I'm good. Explore. Hmm, maybe that would give me my port report. Let's do it. Hmm. A contest of riddles. Fisherfolk, Zailers, a shady couple of likely pirates. And is that a drowny down by the water's edge? They sit around a fire at the Z's edge, passing around a bottle of something 
viscously black. They're wagering on riddles. Will you join them? High risk challenge. 30% chance of success. That's not good. But an echo on one of the simpler riddles. Hmm. It only costs one echo. That's like nothing. 15% chance. Hmm. Attempt one of the riddles of the pearl. A hundred. Oh my god. An almost impossible challenge. 7%. A thousand echo. Jesus. Some of these are insane. Alright. Let's try the one that only costs one echo. I'm down for a riddle. A whale's eye. The fisherman chuckles and pounds the ground with a fist. City folk. He crows. City folk. Pay up. Damn. Only lost one echo, but still. Damn. Oh, I gained fragments, though. Oh, I can't do it again. Some other time. Alright. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Chat to the fishermen. They sail the Z around the island. They mend their nets by the harbor. They see all that happens here. But you'll need coin to open their mouths. One echo. Eh, one echo to get a port report. Totally worth it. Little ships and little secrets. Pirates plying the waves. Smugglers at their work. Canate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Also, I just realized that I think I've been pronouncing the Admiralty Admiralty, which is a heck of a lot easier to say than Admiralty, which does, just feels really bad to say. Admiralty, Admiralty, eh. They're different words. Oh well. How about I just say the higher-ups? The officials. Alright, don't want a wretched mog. Don't want to go to the cock and magpie. I guess that's it. Alright, anything else here? Shops? Harbor provisioners? No thanks. Yeah, I guess that's it. What's the nearest place other than Mudden Island? Nothing, apparently. Hmm. Should I... keep going south? Sure. I'll go south a little bit more. Not too much, though. Don't want to get too far away from London, because I think the further away you get, the more dangerous stuff becomes. This is a lot of open Z. Hmm. I don't like this. Let's just avoid it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's something under the water there. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I want to stay far away from it. Ooh. Looks like somewhere to put in. Discovered Albertine Gates. Wait, can I put in? Looks like the gates are closed. Oh wait, I can put in here. I don't know what the heck those things are on the bottom right of the screen. Like jellyfish. Here, the dark waters run down from the surface, from a brighter sea. 
Wait, the dark waters run down from the surface from a brighter sea. Are you telling me this entire place is like an underground ocean? How in the heck is that even possible? The sunless sea is beneath the surface? Interesting. The canal ascends through locks and gates and shadow turns to the sunlight of the surface. I can actually travel to the surface. The sun is dangerous to neath dwellers like your crew, but the surface has its temptations. 22 fuel. Damn. Don't even have it. Listen for surface gossip. The ships of the surface linger here. This is their lifeline to a warmer place. Or gather information for a port report. Many ships pass this way, but perhaps you'll pick up something they missed. Hmm. I suppose we can do both, right? A sorry end. A card game ends badly when one surface sailor knifes another for all the usual reasons. The other players scrabble from the coins that spill from her pockets, but you snatch up a scrap of paper they overlook. Curious markings. Dates. Times. Code names. Spies work. I now have one moves in the great game. Interesting. I have no idea what that means. Let's gather information for a port report. A business as usual. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe in all the Untersee, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. A perfunctory port report. Perfunctory. Sounds like it's not worth all that much money. But it's something. Okay, I don't know what those things are. I don't like them. And it does say there's something waiting for me, or at least it did say there's something waiting for me back at London. So I think I should go back, see what's going on, and then maybe head east. Sounds good to me. Terror is going up considerably. I can lower it, though. It costs a bit of money, though, to do that. You know, send my people on a night on the town. I don't know. It's either... It's either terror or fuel. Burn through the fuel and save my terror, or get a lot of terror and don't burn through my fuel. Well, can't really avoid you. Unfortunately, my guns are very slow because of the fog. Hopefully I can get another shot in before it attacks me. And we're good. I think I'll go ahead and feed my crew here since the hunger is pretty high. There we go. Yeah, my terror is really quite high. Hmm. It's already at 21.
Okay, what's going on? An inspection by the Ministry of Public Decency. Some things are too illegal for the Customs Service to admit the existence of. The Ministry are here looking for those. Hmm. Ah, so if you have certain illegal gifts, then you can't do this. But I don't, so come aboard, Ministry of Public Decency. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take great pleasure in tangling the rigging. They find nothing more dangerous than moldy ship's biscuit. And <laughs> is that image on their hat of a burning book? Is that like the symbol of their people? Book burners? Wouldn't surprise me. They seem like dicks. Alright, well, let's collect messages from the Harbor Master. Hmm, what is this? A visit to Clathermont's Tattoo Parlor. You're a real Zaylor now, after all. You could go to one of those tobacco and... One of those tobacco and prey places by the docks. But the price at Clathermont's are reasonable. And his daughters are real artists. But what sign will you choose? Hmm. Oh, it only costs one echo? Well, that seems worth it. Oh, if you have a tale of terror, you can get the Dauntless Hand. And it cures up to 25 points of terror. That's really nice. That's really, really good. Alright, increase my iron. So which ones can I do? Some of Clathermont's tattoos are coded messages for spies. Perhaps you have a hidden motive. Hmm. So that's what I can do with the moves in the great game that I gained. So I can increase some mirrors, veils, iron, or pages. Well, I think I'm an iron sort of person, so let's go with that. A new you. The gold needle pricks. Lily Clethermont hums. The design is complete. Scales, mapping your fingers like a gauntlet. Wear it proudly. Lost 21 terror. Nice. And gained 2 iron. Oh god, another proposal. Hello again. Good evening, Captain. And what a marvelous evening it is, if you don't mind me saying so. And, given it is my impression you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo, if you happen to be in the area. The cheery man will of course cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. Mount Palmerston. I have no idea where that is. Hmm. No. That is way too shady. I have to say, you've made me very sad. The blind bruiser wags a scarred finger. Of course, though, I do understand. The Undersea is terrible dangerous, as every sailor knows. And you needs to be careful of unforeseen consequences. He nods ponderously. Unforeseen consequences, he repeats. Well, good day to you. Everything is probably perfectly all right. Various events have occurred, but there's probably no need to worry. Probably. Yeah. All right, you're the same dude. Read the morning papers. Turn in some reports. I always forget where to do that. That is... here. The Admiralty's office. I admire them for their admiralty. One fuel, one favor. Five echo, okay. Five echo. 
Hmm. Didn't gain any favor. Well, if you've been there, I suppose we may as well hear about it. The fee is nominal, though. Alright, so I guess they're just not that interested in my... Yeah, my perfunctory port report was not particularly interesting. It was rather perfunctory. Alright, what's up with this? Hello. The Dark Spectacled Admiral. You were ushered into his office of mansion... Into his office off mansion pyre. A cramped room with a vast deck. He surveys you across that desk. Ah, yes. The merchant captain of whom we hear such complicated things. The Admiral will purchase intelligence from you. Hmm. Need more favor for that. Need vital intelligence. Ah, I can speak of moves in the great game. Interesting. What would he give me? I can also ask him what he desires. What do you desire? Information. Visit a port and will be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest and will be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well. Don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. His lip curls. What's left of it. Alright, let's speak of moves in the great game and see what happens. He has you repeat it all twice. He doesn't take notes. It's a little beyond me, he tells you. But I have a friend in the palace who will be interested. Very interested. Thank you. Your fee. Gain favor. 30 echo. Nice. Which, now that I have 4 favor, I can do this. This will take you to the dry docks, where one point of favor will get you two to three fuel. Hmm. Don't have any reason to do that at the moment. Alright, I think I'm good. Um, I kind of want to see if I can hire on any special crew. Oh, it's locked. Oh, wait, no. Let's look at recruits. Yeah, here we go. Uh, what the hell is with all these requirements? Magician, urbane magician, satisfied magician, what? 50 echo. That's pretty expensive. At least compared to what I have. 72. I'm pretty freaking poor. Mechanic. Hmm. I feel like I should have more people on board. Increases veils and fuel efficiency. That would be quite nice. So veils increases speed, stealth, deception. Decreases the range at which enemies will spot you. And obviously fuel efficiency is very good. I like you. 50 echo. I think I'll take you. The tireless mechanic has had enough of Frostfound. He smiles at you over his spectacles, teeth chattering. <sighs> so glad to see a ship at last. Ready to offer my services. I'm an engineer. Finest you'll ever hire. Treat engines like my own children. Not that I have children. Too busy. Usually busy. Alright, come aboard. Welcome aboard! Spot of rust, spot of rust. Soon see to that. You there. Help me with this spot of rust. There we go. Already getting to work. Increases my veils by 8 and my fuel efficiency by 5%. Well, you're my new chief engineer. Welcome aboard. Let's speak to you later. I do believe I want to go east. I still want to find that freaking funging station. Because that's one of the things the Admiralty... Sorry. The Admiralty wants me to find. And it's not north and it's not south, so it's got to be east.
no islands within range. Hmm. Assault Lions is a long way to the east. Turning towards me. I don't know if it's chasing me. What in the hell is that? Okay. We are not going to touch that thing. I am not going to attempt to fight that. I'm not going to get even close to it. Nope. Ooh, here's a place. Now, where's the dock? There's vast sorrow in their empty eyes. Two basalt beasts, cathedral-sized. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at his features like rot. Pick, pick, picking. There's a supply dock below. Hmm. Visit the Unmakers. Muscular pick wielders rest on camp stools, watching you approach. Passing hip flasks around, an unctuous overseer beckons you to sit. Sure. Fungal Tisane and tea cakes. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true. But Station 4? I wouldn't call it Station 4. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult ballast. Most of them. Some go down to the places under the bazaar. More tea cakes. Gained a fragment. Lost five terror. Why, thank you. So I can carry Sphinx Stone to London. The Unmakers are here to reduce the Salt Lions to rubble, one block at a time. Help them in their work by carrying the rubble back to London. Oh, you need a deposit and 20 units of spare cargo space. Uh, do I... Well, I don't have the money. But do I even have the storage space? How do I tell? Hold. Ooh, I actually just have enough. So I've got 20 space. And you need 20 space. Oh man, I wish I had the money, because that actually would probably really be worth it. Although it doesn't say how much I would be paid. But it's got to be more than the deposit, obviously, right? It's got to be. And this is really creepy if you think about it. This is just so strange. The Unmakers. So in this uh, apparently underground sunless sea, there's these salt lions. These sphinxes that have been here for, what, hundreds, thousands of years or something? Built by who? And the Unmakers are just tearing it apart piece by piece. That's so creepy. The Unmakers. I mean, think about that. That'd be like today, people just unmaking a pyramid and just, you know, just taking a pyramid apart piece by piece and then selling the stone. That's weird. And strangely disturbing. I mean, who made these things? I want to know. Anyway, let's, let's compile a port report. There we go. Record the activities of the Unmakers, such as they are. Rite of Stone and Silence. No shops here. Alright, so I definitely want to mark this kind of flag this in my mind as a place that I want to come back to when I have enough money. I really want to try transporting this stuff, because it's really not that big of a run. I mean, if you look at the map, 
to London, that's like... Two minutes? And it seems relatively safe. So if I could make some decent money from that, that could be a pretty good trade haul. Like a pretty good trade route. Although I don't know if I can keep doing it. I don't know if I could just come back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But if I can, that would that would be pretty great. Anyway, I think that's it for this place. And I think I should also end this episode before it becomes over an hour. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.